biology and biodiversity. And the project is basically my final year project. And we're working on a citizen science project uh, to investigate the distribution of exotic ant species in Hong Kong. And also to test the effectiveness of citizen science in terms of data collection. That's absolutely right. And <laughs> also because we already have some data that exists with exotic ants in Hong Kong, we actually want to see how citizen science project can actually complement the data that we are having and compare both kind of data sets. So the citizens will participate mainly in the data collection parts. So they will help us to collect and sample from different places in Hong Kong. So they will just get a sampling kit from us to go outside to do a collection and then bring us back the sample for analysis. That's absolutely right. So basically when we do a regular project, we may have one or two person that may be ex able to basically explore and collect ants in different areas. Here, uh, with this kind of project, we can have potentially hundreds of people going all over Hong Kong in all kinds of different places. Some we might not even think sometimes, and uh, collect ants and maybe discover some new ants for us. So, in fact, in Hong Kong, we often describe it as a concrete city, and citizens might not pay a lot of attention to small insects like ants. So, basically, through the project, they can have a great opportunity to observe the ants uh, in person and also kind of see their interactions and behavior and kind of have some knowledge of them in the project. That, that's absolutely right. There's also this part of biological invasion, which is a major one. It's actually one of the main descriptors of local biodiversity here in Hong Kong. And unfortunately, due to its geographic position and also trade activity, Hong Kong has a lot of exotic species. So it's a good way for people to basically learn more about biological invasion in particular and how later on they could be active to monitor those populations. Um, so we're setting up a Facebook page and an Instagram page and we will have the sampling kit distributed on Saturday. So people can just follow our pages and then have the latest updates on when and where to pick up the sampling kits. So for now the pickup uh, location would mainly be in the Hong Kong Biodiversity Museum. So they will have to make an appointment and then they can come get the sampling kits as they want. And there's also some great videos that Tania has made that people can actually uh, look online and learn how to actually proceed further on how to actually uh, place the, the different vows and correct ends in the field safely. I guess I want to say thank you to all participants because we are very surprised to have so many responses on the project. So just stay safe and have fun and thank you so much for helping us. Yeah, I, I would have it. It's a really great opportunity for both the children and the adults actually to learn more about their local biodiversity, things that they can have just uh, at the base of their building or, or houses if they have a, a garden, for example. Um, but there's also a lot of interaction that can be observed, and so it's a great source of, of uh, observation and potentially inspiration for uh, future biologists to come uh, to Hong Kong.